I've been getting quite a few requests to make a video on this cordless screwdriver that I recently purchased. I've had it for about two or three months now. This is the DeWalt DCF 682 cordless screwdriver. Um, I've really been enjoying the, the tool. I use it mainly and purchased it mainly for maintenances to remove service doors, service panels, things like that. Um, remove receptacle covers, mount thermostats, um, that kind of uh, low stress work where you don't need like a 12 volt, 20 volt, anything like that. Um, so again, I've been using it for a couple months now. I've really enjoyed it. So I figured I'd make a little video just to give the guys out there that were inquiring about information on the tool and what it can or can't do. So again, what you see in front of you is the, the DeWalt 8 volt DCF 862 cordless screwdriver. The screwdriver has a quarter inch drive, so it fits all your standard chucks. Has the typical release on your DeWalt's. Just has a power button, doesn't have a forward or reverse, does have a lock here. The reason it doesn't have a forward or reverse because it's using what they call gyroscopic technology. So essentially what that does is when you push this button, which right now I have the lock so you don't burn up the battery, but essentially all you do when you unlock it is you just squeeze the power trigger and let me put a chuck in it so you'll be able to see the rotation a little bit better. But basically what you do is you squeeze the trigger and rotate it in the direction that you want. If you want to tighten a screw, you rotate to the right. And if you want to loosen a screw, rotate to the left. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, it also has a basically a variable speed feature. So the more extreme you tilt the tool from left to right, the faster the tool will rotate. And again, it goes up to 430 RPM at 40, I believe it's 40 inch pounds of torque. So not a whole heck of a lot of torque, but again, purpose built for removing panels, um, installing receptacles, thermostats, that kind of stuff. So not a whole lot of heavy duty work. It has the built in battery life indicator on here. Just squeeze the trigger and you can see our battery. So right now this display that you're seeing obviously isn't going to be on full battery. So, but you'll get the idea. This tool also has a built-in LED light, which is pretty darn bright. It stays on after you've engaged the trigger for approximately 20 seconds. But very cool little tool. Uses the 8-volt VMAX lithium-ion batteries. And this particular set that I got came with one battery, the charger, and the tool. I think there's another set out there that comes with like a 20 or 30 bit um, chuck set by DeWalt. But um, this one was available locally for me. I paid somewhere between 50 or 60 bucks for it. Very, very reasonable. So what I'm gonna do now is grab a service panel and a piece of plywood and show you what the tool can do. All right, so here's a service panel. This is off of an old Daikin uh, branch box for a ductless system. And we have a 5 16th screw in here, as you can see right there. And we'll go ahead and remove that. Again, same thing. Squeeze the trigger and rotate in the direction that you want the driver to go, whether it's tightening or loosening. Obviously, in this case, we rotate a little bit to the left. And again, the faster you rotate, the faster or slower you'll be able to remove the screw. So I did that one. Nice and slow, and we'll tighten it back in. And you can see we went really quick there. So very, very simple premise. Um, I've also had the question several times that if you'll be able to make a new hole, for instance, if you have a service door that has a stripped out screw, uh, the answer is yes. Again, it's not purpose built for that because it's relatively low RPM and low torque, but it will definitely do the job in a pinch. And I'll just demonstrate that for you. As 
just like that. Again, not purpose built for it, but can most certainly get the job done. So, and again, we're working with uh, a little bit lower than a full battery charge. Now we have a quarter inch, just a little zip screw. And we're just going to demonstrate popping it through a piece of plywood just to sort of simulate installing maybe a receptacle, a thermostat, something like that, just to kind of, again, give you guys an idea of what the tool can or can't do. So, boom, no problem. Good to go. And again, to remove it, same thing. Super simple. So, again, I wouldn't consider it purpose-built for... Um, putting holes in relatively thick gauge metal, sheet metal duct, stuff like that. If you have to make a temperature port hole, I have a small step down bit that fits in there and it will, it will get the job done. It'll make that nice little hole for you so you can get your temperatures. But again, primarily I just use it for removing service panels and uh, odd and end jobs through maintenances. All right, guys, I think that's it on this one. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Again, I just wanted to make this relatively quick video just to sort of clarify and give some of the guys that were inquiring on social media some more information about the tool. Um, so far, again, uh, in the short time that I've had it, I think it's great. I've been enjoying it. Fits perfectly in my MB2 bag. It's great for maintenances, removing service doors, those those lighter jobs that you don't necessarily need to carry around a 20 volt impact or anything like that. So at the price point that it is and what it does, um, it's purpose built in my opinion perfectly for maintenances. So again, I hope that helped. Thanks for watching. If there's any other comments or questions that I didn't answer, feel free to leave them below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. If I don't know the answer, I'll try my best to find out. So again, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you on the next one.